Hey, how's it going? I'm Steve Walter, and today I wanted to talk to you about how you can run multiple instances of Lightroom Classic on your Mac. It's time for a Tuesday Tips. So let's hop into it. This is going to be really simple, really down and dirty. If you've ever found yourself in the situation where you need to open up multiple Lightroom Classic libraries, this is for you. I find myself in that situation here and there. A lot of times what I'll do is if I'm working remotely or if I'm working on location, I'll create a library dedicated for that project. What's nice about that is that it's a much faster Lightroom catalog because it's not bloated with thousands of images or tens or hundreds of thousands of images. It might just have, you know, the thousand or so or less that you have from that particular job. So it opens up a lot faster and sometimes what I need to do is work on one catalog while I'm working on another or more specifically export images from one catalog while I need to work on another. So this solves that issue. This is something I actually learned from my buddy Matt at BSC Photo and I've been using it all the time. I typically use it on my desktop, but here I am using it on my laptop. So here's what you're gonna need. External hard drive. This is just a, a simple bare bones, Western Digital, USB 3 external hard drive. Doesn't need to be fancy by any means. And you need to have a computer, specifically a Mac. I'm not sure how you would go about doing this on Windows. I know the application structure for uh, Windows and Mac is quite different, so I'm not sure if you'd actually be able to achieve this. If you run Windows and you would be able to do this, let me know. I'm just gonna pop over here to the Finder and I've got two Finder windows open. And over here on the left, I have my Applications folder open. To get there, you can just do Command-Shift-A. That's a nice shortcut to get there. And here I found my Lightroom Classic folder. Inside of there is the actual application. And then over here is my external hard drive. You can see here, um, one terabyte WD Passport is just what I've named it. Ooh, and a little bonus tip, right, if we're doing Tuesday Tips. If you hold Command and click on the uh, top folder here, it'll give you that little breadcrumb trail, which is nice. So. I've just created a folder inside of that hard drive called apps just so I can move my application there and I literally just drag a copy and it will just add over into the external hard drive and then what you do is you make sure that when you're loading Lightroom you just double click on it from the external hard drive. Now chances are what's going to happen is it's going to try to open your default catalog whatever that might be. If you already have Lightroom running from your hard drive, your computer's hard drive, it will tell you hey I can't load up that catalog because you're already using it. What I do is I actually take this and I drag it down into the dock so that that way it's always going to stay there and when I go to open up Lightroom I just hold the option key and what that does is that tells me or it forces Lightroom to allow me to select the catalog that I want to open. And then when you do that you can see uh, here I have two instances of Lightroom open and running and it works the same way it would normally work. Uh, there's really no difference. You just need to make sure that this external hard drive is connected. I can imagine, I haven't tried this, but I can imagine if you plugged in another hard drive with Lightroom on that, you could run three copies of it. So this is a very specific scenario where you might need to do that. And I figured I would at least share it because it's something that I do uh, not on a daily basis, but maybe on a monthly basis where I need to have multiple catalogs open at the same time. So that's basically it. That's the tip. Um, run two copies of Lightroom on your Mac just by making sure the application is added onto an external hard drive. Down and dirty Tuesday tips. That's how we're doing it. Um, any thoughts, feedback, comments, send it my way. I want to hear all of that. I will be posting little teasers or little tidbits over on my Instagram, at Steve Walter Photo. That's where my Tuesday tips has lived for, oh, the better part of two years. I want to transition over here to YouTube because I think it's just going to be better in the long run. You can search for it. There's going to be a wider viewership, so that's why I'm doing this. Also, at my IGTV, I post a lot of content as well. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, at Steve Walter Photo. If you want to subscribe here so that way you don't miss a Tuesday tip, feel free to do that. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I'll see you next week.